Here we have an application question. And it says, Darren has $123,456 in a savings account. Table has $156 in his savings account. Determine the order of magnitude of Darren's account and Table's account. How many orders of magnitude as great as Darren's account as Table's account? So let's start here with Darren. And Darren has $123 or, sorry, 123,456. Well, if I round that down, that's the same thing as 100,000, isn't it? If I count the zeros, they're five zeros. So Darren's order of magnitude is 10 to the fifth or five. Now we'll take a look at table. We'll do the same thing. Table has 156. I'm just going to round that down to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to say that's the same thing as 100. There are two zeros. So that's 10 to the second or an order of magnitude of two. Now to find out how many orders of magnitude uh, Darren is Darren's account as Taylor's account, I'm going to divide. I'm going to say, oh, to find the difference, not difference, the order of magnitude is greater. I'm going to take 10 to the fifth. I'm going to divide it by 10 to the second. So 10 to the fifth divided by 10 to the second is 10 to the third. So he's three orders of magnitude bigger. And that's what you would do for a problem like that.